don't know if my hair's cut off. It's been ages since I've did this. Uh, I'm so long, in fact. And, um, so, I haven't uploaded anything since, I think, May. And uh, nobody watches these anyway, so it's not a big deal. But uh, the book hasn't sold, which is fine. But I'll keep at it, try to get publishers and agents to watch something. But of more interest is... But what's of more interest is uh, I finally have my flat fully to myself, or an apartment, um, so I now have a spare room which I'm going to turn into an office studio, so I'll have more time to do these. Um, but really actual important thing, Douglas Lane, um, who works for Zero Books, which is a small print publisher of mostly leftist material, he received a strike on his YouTube channel, um, unfairly I say. Um, so that's a little worrying. I understand that like Booktube and Instagram and all the Insta book world is for fun, but uh, if you're only using it as escapism, it's it means stuff like this can happen because clearly YouTube has um, taken umbrage against like leftist um, talking points before, and the fact that it's now trying to silence a leftist platform is a little worrying. You can get into how it's a private company can do what it wants, but the uh, the reasoning wasn't that great. Uh, so if you could go to the Zero Books channel, watch it, and um, if you like it, look at Douglas Lane's work. Also look at the Zero Print, uh, Zero Books imprint. Uh, there should be stuff on there. They're brilliant. They cover leftist and feminist, trans rights, gay rights. All the good shit, really. Everything pro-human, zero books at some point will have touched it. Um, I can't do a video recap of what I read last year. The last book I read was Moby Dick, greatest book of all time. First book I read of the month is uh, this one, Kill All Normies by Angela Nagel. I read it years ago, but uh, another reread. I thought I'd start the year pretty quick, and then I heard this zero books thing, so it was a nice little um, bit of synchronicity. Um, roughly it covers how, sorry, I just keep checking the time, the alt-right, I wish I could get this better, I'm just going to stop talking even closer, how the alt-right um, developed their tactics and reasonings, why that might have been mostly down to like uh, performative uh, leftist and, sorry, I've just came back in, so I'm, I'm fucking shattered. Uh, performative wokeness really, uh, a real focus on identity politics, politics rather than focusing on institutional problems. Angela hits it really well by like making the book, as you can see, very slim, easy to understand, with good points that you can't really refute, but includes like assaults on far leftist movements in the Labour and the Democratic parties in the US and the UK. Um, goes on to like reason why this might be and also ways to combat it, really brilliant. It's a zero books imprint, wonderful. I think I gave it like four stars on Goodreads. It's criminally misunderstood, and I think it's because she does condemn them, but she doesn't go with the orange man or racist guys bad completely. She tries to explain the reasons why, which is more important, because you need to understand your enemy in order to better fight them. Um, also, just a personal thing, zero books also, published quite a lot of Mark Fisher, who unfortunately took his life several years ago. Um, Ollie on Philosophy Tube spoke about that in the Men's Mental Health and Suicide video, which is really quite touching. Mark was an incredible writer. Um, I'm really, I didn't know him obviously, but I read a lot of his work. I'm really happy to read his work. I'm happy to continue reading his work, getting more out of it. And Zero Books needs people's help, and it would just be nice to get that out. So, first of the year, wonderful. Not really the uh, purview of people's first of, the, first of the year. Most people read like something fictiony. Um, I'm, I'm all over the place. Like currently my reading, I'm still reading Middlemarch. 
Um, I started the second of Michael Brewer's Napoleon. Um, um, this one's Spirit of the Age. It's from 1805 to 1815. Brilliant. And I'm also reading the Quran, uh, which is a beautiful blossom, quite rough in points. So go see Douglas Lane, support Douglas Lane, support Zero Books. Thank you.